months. October! Already! Crikey, what a terrible month it's been, let's be honest. And it's time to say farewell to the shark. And I'm going to be honest with you, probably count on these hands how many times I've actually used it this month. But, you know, it has been used. We're going to see how it's coped with the use that it has had. And then we'll see what I'm going to use next month. Have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner and shark chums. How are you today? Well, it's where I have used it, it has been pretty good, really. I, I haven't used it much because, quite frankly, the straight suction of my cordless pneumatic does everything I need it to do. I've used this mainly for deeper cleans at the weekend, and um, etc. It's been emptied twice, and there is dirt in the bin still now, so it is picking up a lot. Did a, fair, did a big old clean of the kids' bedroom a week or so ago, which gave it the bulk of its dirt, and yeah, bless it, not used it terribly much at all. It is very heavy to use in its normal mode, for sure, massively, massively chunky thing, but it's less flimsy feeling than the smaller ones. Obviously, this is the largest sized apex for most of us, although this is not an apex in the UK, but yeah, it's the larger one, and for that it does have better build quality, it's less creaky, less rattly, less just flimsy, but it does come at the expense of weight. But of course, Becco, you can do that, and use it like this, yes, you can, but I do find that the rear wheels pick themselves up off the floor, where it sticks itself down, where I've hacked this nozzle so that air no longer comes out of here the actual suction bit glues itself down when you pull back it just pulls backwards like the cheap straight suction floor heads that we all hate and still not that much light so you still got to hold everything I, I haven't really used it in any other way bar this and just had it as a heavy upright vacuum cleaner I noticed recently actually that one of the buttons has gone from the side. I don't actually recall seeing it anywhere. Haven't found it yet, but yeah, one of them popped off. I mean, you can still open the thing up like so. And, in fact, let's do this a little bit easily. We'll take the wand off and we'll lift away. And then I've only got to hold this bit up. My main gripe with the cordless IC160, I've had all the fluff gathering on the brush roll is unfounded for the corded models it, it was just the fact that the cordless lacked the suction to pull it away and probably also demonstrates why i'm not that fussed about the so-called although it doesn't work very well from many examples that i have seen the anti-hair wrap yeah this is that's about all it's picked up that will just be for my daughter and she doesn't shed much hair at her age so yeah we've done quite well indeed the front roller hasn't got disgustingly filthy so the tinko floor one s3 is doing well and this rug is obviously not that terribly dirty yeah overall it has done a great deal better than the cordless shark purely because it, it does have the suction power to take the dirt away rather than leaving it wound up on the brush roll. So I'll put that back. And you may as well stick to this bit because everything else is the same really. I do like the headlight that comes on the wand. That is surprisingly cool, not necessarily useful, but certainly a very nice feature indeed. It is one of the things I like about it, which is probably not what it was there for, but hey ho. Have a look at the main bit. It is that full at the minute. There's a star. Look, I'm a star in nobody's world. Let's have a look at the filters. And yeah, ooh, not bad, actually.
actually. I was expecting that to be a fair bit worse. You know, my my biased ramblings against Shark, all built on experience and knowledge. But, yeah, you know what? That's not too bad. There's a little bit, but it's doable. I think I just haven't used it enough. And I've also not used it for anything else but dust. You really cannot use a Shark or a Dyson or any cordless not cordless, any bagless vacuum cleaner for anything other than household dust really. It's what they don't tend to tell you explicitly, but it is in the manuals if you read them. Haven't done any of that. What it has done though is made this filter absolutely disgusting. Look, you can see where it's starting to just saturate the thing with dust now obviously i've used this for a month and a lot of people will probably look at this after a month and go ha, don't need to wash that no please do if you have a shark wash your filters when they're like that and they'll come nice and clean it's when you leave it for six months and then try and wash your filter that you will just suffer massively and really not do the machine much good at all saying that though the filters i don't think have been overwhelmed because although in here is incredibly dusty in there where the motor sits and don't forget this is the brand new motor unit does look quite spotless i dare say some has got through but not as much as i was expecting i'll say expecting because i wasn't expecting this to do terribly well but i think the problem is where people don't clean the filters it just overwhelms it to the point where the dirt starts to bypass the they're not really seals, they're friction fit plastic. And that's when it all goes wrong and then you leave it for too long. And that is that. The bin hasn't done too badly. It's filthy dirty again. So much dirt rattles around this part here before it eventually finds its way into the dirt container. That's quite annoying. And as you can see, it's quite filthy, but yeah, not bad. But I think use this regularly for a month or so on, you know, busy family of three with a dog. And it's no wonder people hate them, I think. Myself and, look, he's up here, look, Mr. Felix. Hello. Look, we don't make that much dirt, do we, boy? It's all big bits and whatnot. So I think we get away with it purely because we're quite boring people, aren't we? So, that's, that's about all there is to say, really. I, I haven't dated it, I'll be honest. I, I've not grabbed it in favour of anything else. Purely because, I don't know, really, my cordless pneumatic does everything that I personally need and want it to do. I, I won't say I regret buying it because I'm not <laughs> using the other cleaners. Maybe I just don't need other cleaners. Who knows? But, you know... It's nice to have it for a deep clean. The pneumatic, for all it's good, still isn't a deep, deep cleaner. Although, a video coming soon, which may change that a bit. But, no, it is nice to have an upright around. But, crikey, this one is huge. Another thing that started to annoy me was this switch. Because it's supposed to, you know, you're supposed to just be able to slide it up and down. And I don't think it's because I've had it apart, because it was just as stiff before but yeah you have to almost push it up and down it's not that loose i suppose it's just a bit fiddly but equally i've not actually really used it in the half floor mode it stayed in there because we blocked off this suction channel and as fun as it is as much as it does make it an absolute beast i don't recommend it purely because it is too powerful i can't use this on my little cheap Audi rug that sits in the hallway because it just pulls it up. This is quite good, but I'd also worry about the longevity of the motor, and I, I might end up taking that out. Ah, no, don't you dare! I might end up taking that out before it goes on to its new home, just so it doesn't kill itself. It's fun if you could be bothered to do it, do it, but I wouldn't recommend it otherwise. So there we go, really. That is that for the shark. It's time to look at what we're going to use for October. Now, a lot of my ramblings about the fact that I haven't used it very much, I don't immediately beeline to it, has 
influenced my choice quite a lot for Octolia because I thought, well, there's no need to have a modern vacuum cleaner. There's no need to have something that is going to be perfect. What I'm going to choose is something that I can grab because it's nice to use, because it's pleasant, because it does a great job without needing to be high powered and also heavy. It's a lot lighter than the Shark. Yes, I am going to use my Electrolux Z504 Twin Turbo, which has come down from the loft especially for this occasion. And it's actually been dripped on annoyingly by stuff in the loft. I have a little bit of a condensation problem. So we have a little bit of corrosion that has started on the clip. I've had to give it a buff before ah, I've had to give it a good old buff before we start filming this because it was quite yucky. So a little bit of a pain, but it has stored well, hasn't faded, hasn't really gone wrong at all. I also forgot look that it has this very nice Jura plug on it. Very nice indeed. And also, come on, focus. Also, look, it's not been cut at all. Usually these types of plug get cut open because people forget to put the cable in before they wire the plug. Oh, hello. Alright, right. He just turned on. It still works then, that's good. And, yeah. When I want a deep clean rug, I can have something fun. Something that's nice to use. Something that once or twice a week I can grab to do my floors impeccably. Just a little bit more interesting. Obviously upstairs is all carpet, so it is nice to have something. And it should still work pretty well. Let's let's put a bit of the old sawdust down and see how it copes. We could do a little versus with the shark, couldn't we? Let's see if I'm going to be gaining or losing anything in comparison to this oh my goodness i've just pulled the plug off the side of the table no, untangle cable untangle ah flipping cables who have them so let us give the outgoing the first test and obviously this is probably going to make the filter quite dirty because we do not have a bag A strong performance there, mainly on the backward pass, but strong nonetheless. Let's see if the Electrolux can hold its own. Yes, it can. 1970s, mid 2010s, I think that's when was this? No, 2020, my mistake. 1970s to 2020, and you know what? The difference isn't that great. The shark does have a slight advantage because the front roller does help, you know, drag the dirt around. But equally, the old Electrolux did quite well. Let's pick the rest of it up.
very decent indeed. Now the only slight thing is, is that this is an upright only vacuum cleaner. I mean, you can fit tools to it, and indeed I do have, thanks to a very generous donation from a fellow collector, a tool adapter with no hose, but we don't need that. And oh yeah, I forgot it was a little bit broken. Oh, I missed a bit. There's still a bit of dirt from the condensation. But yeah, it has it. We can fit it and the original plan was because i do plan 12 vacuums in 12 months a little bit in advance usually stick to it i was going to make some you know bag a hose on it and make a funky fancy toolkit but i don't think i would use it even if i did to be honest not with the pneumatic and i have to say Comparing these two, Right, you're comparing these to this, even on its lowest setting, which you, ah, I don't, don't turn it on, just point. Even on its lowest setting, I mean, its highest setting is 350 watts, and I think this Electrolux itself is only 400 watts. Oh, dearly me, smashy smashy. Don't actually know how powerful these are. I think they're only 400 watts, aren't they? It's been a while since I've seen a twin turbo ratings plate. 450, so this is 100 watts more powerful in terms of energy usage but as Dyson have proved with their cordless cleaners even though I much prefer this as a form factor than a machine to any stick vacuum from any manufacturer you can do a lot nowadays can't you this has more suction sharper suction using its power pack than this does using its but equally this will go on, I imagine, a lot, 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 lot longer than old made in China pneumatic here, because that is just the way things annoyingly go. So again, the same with the Shark, I'm not giving up my pneumatic MBV190 for anything, anyone, anyhow, but it works nicely in conjunction with this. I run this around first with all the edges, all the furniture, all the hard floors, and put him away and then have a nice 10 minutes to myself with a lovely vacuum cleaner to use. I mean this sounds a lot nicer than the digital motor on the pneumatic for sure. So it's got that going for it. I think we yep yeah, we have a bag fitted it's fairly empty we'll keep it especially since it will smell quite nice now with sawdust. Filter is you can't see it but it's spotless and it should stay spotless because, hey, that's how decent bag vacuum cleaners work nowadays. Certainly aren't putting a paper bag in this because, well, that would just be terrible, wouldn't it? Nobody should use a paper bag anymore. And we're not. So there we go, really. Will it last a month? It should do. I see no reason why it shouldn't. We shall see what happens. So... That is my retro change done and dusted. Have you ever used an Electrolux Twin Turbo? Do you use one? I know that a lot of collectors have them. Um, they are pretty much universally loved. Do you use yours with the tools or do you just use it as an upright? Comment below. We'll see if we can spot a trend. But for now, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I and this... Ooh, I always seem to film my videos when the ice cream man comes, don't I? Ah, oh, hey-ho. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.